you back for another Morgan, the Business Pros radio show on Global News Radio 640 Toronto. Paul, good to see you again. I'm going to throw your contact information before we even get started on what's going to be a uh, very busy morning. Uh, email paul at trainingbusinesspros.com and 416-444-PROS. That is 7767. How are you, sir? I'm doing excellent. Thank Great. you for everyone uh, who's listening right now showing up this morning. We uh, recognize that uh, you may just be getting up or you're heading out in the car or whatever. Uh, This is a show for business people. Uh, If you're thinking about starting a business, that's great. This is for you. But if you're already in business, whether it's small, medium, SMEs, what we call, and uh, even if you're like corporate enterprise, there's some good, valuable information. This morning, we're going to be talking about uh, AdWords. Okay. And- Essentially, AdWords is a is an online advertising system developed by Google. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know how much Google makes a year? By the way, I, do I want to know? Is it a scary number? <laughs> it's based? a scary yeah, number. Okay. It's like seven billion. <laughs> uh, and but what percentage of that comes from AdWords? I would say probably three quarters of it. Ninety five percent. Wow! Come on. Yeah. So a lot of the things that they do is, and a lot of things that they develop which is a lot of development, most of that stuff is free. Like your Gmail, that's free. Your, you know, if you use all of the Google tools, they're all free. Right. So how do they pay for all those things? Well, they pay for all those things with advertiser money. And people are wondering, well, should I be doing Google AdWords and do I really want to give Google all my money? And the answer is yes. yes. And we're going to talk about why that is and why that's important. Because a lot of people think... Well, there's a difference between organic traffic. You know how you do a search in Google? Yep. I mean, now it's become a verb, right? Let's just Google Google it. it. Yeah, it's a verb, right. And if you show up, that's good. But what happens if you don't show up? And a lot of people are like, well, I get enough traffic. I don't really need to pay for traffic. Uh, Should I be? It's really what you don't know. You think you're getting enough traffic, but possibly they don't. I mean, top three benefits, first of all, organic traffic through search. Why do I need to buy? Well, I think the answer is, and actually I don't think, I know the answer right. is this. You can't possibly rank for every search term. And there's a myriad of search terms. If you actually go inside AdWords and you do this little, what they call a Google keyword planner, mm-hmm. Google's essentially telling you what people are typing into the search engine. And even if you have that list, and quite frankly, I mean, let's just take an example. Let's say you're uh, you're in the event rental business. So do people always type in event rentals? No. No. What do they type in? They type in, I need to rent a tent. Yeah, or wedding. Uh, or can chairs. I rent some chairs? Cutlery. Right. Cutlery. Yeah. And then all of the different conjugations of those things. So Google actually gives you that information. It says, here's how many people search for this specific search term every single month. So then you're a smart company and you think, okay, well, I'll just go make a web page out of that and we'll rank number one. Is that possible? I would say no it's based on the look of your face. <laughs> not even close to being possible. So the reality is, it's like, yes, you're getting a lot of traffic, but are you getting targeted traffic right. for what exactly it is you do? And that's the that's the reason to have AdWords because you can't possibly rank for everything. So I'm going to give my audience uh, a little test. Okay. Okay. So I, I did this just recently. We noticed that as a corporate training company, and we do a lot of corporate training, mm-hmm. that we if you if there's a, a number of people every month that type in corporate training companies. I can't remember what the number is. I could look it up. Doesn't really matter. Right. But we were ranked page two for corporate training companies. And so I took it upon myself as I normally do to change that. And I know how to change that, but it took me about three or four hours to change that. Really? So it's not a, it's not an easy game to play the search engine optimization game. So now we're number one for corporate training companies throughout Ontario. Number one, above all of the other training companies. There's a lot of training companies, by the way, in Toronto alone, guess how many training companies there are? Doesn't. 1,200. <laughs> 1,200? 1,200. How does anybody survive? Uh, it's a lot of competition, and you're you're vying for the attention of people, and they, they certainly can't, 100% of them certainly can't give you their attention. But if somebody doesn't know a corporate training company and they go out and they search for t- corporate training companies, we're number one. 
trainingbusinesspros.com. Go try it on your on your Google browser. I or will. Whatever. Go, go Absolutely. try it. The number, by the way, 416-444-PROS to get hold of Paul or Paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. Want to keep talking about the uh, PPC, the pay-per-click advertising, but I got to mention this, and that is the digital marketing cheat sheet. Uh, full color, laminated, great reference guide, things like the seven-step uh, client value optimizer system, the glossary of digital marketing. I have it right in front of me. Listen, it's here. I'm playing with it. Cool this stuff, is, though, right? This That's, is nice. You know, laminated reference guides for everything yeah. digital marketing. We, we put a lot of time and thought and effort into those things. And all we're asking for people to do is just send me an email to paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. Make sure you send me your mailing address. I actually get a lot of people that request it, but forget their mailing address. Yeah, and nice. I, I, can't, I can't send that through email. No, it's a little bulky. <laughs> it's, it's bulky. <laughs> It's physical. <laughs> this doesn't work through email or anything or texting. For yeah. Matter, so, you so. know, have one of those on your desk. That's really valuable yeah. when you're talking to your marketing team or whatever. What we're going to do after the break, and, and I introduced the whole concept of, okay, so now we're ranking number one for corporate training companies, right. but where do we rank for corporate training Toronto? It's a different thing. Yeah. Not even on the front page. So if I wanted traffic to that page, I've got to go buy that traffic because I'm not going to build a whole other web page and go through a three-hour exercise to rank for Corporate Training Toronto. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And so you have to buy traffic. If you want all of the traffic or you want a major portion of targeted traffic, you have to go after it and you have to buy it. So when we come back after the break, um, yes, you can't rank for everything. That's the number one reason to do it. But number two and three, we're going to deal with right after the break. You got it. The number is 416-444-7767. That's 444-PROS. And again, email Paul, Paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. Take advantage, get that digital marketing cheat sheet. Lots more of the Business Pros radio show is on the way. This is Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. with the Business Bros Radio Show here on Global News Radio 640 Toronto. The uh, email, by the way, take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet from Paul. It is paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. The number, of course, 416-444-PROS to get a hold of any time. We're not uh, doing the radio show. Talking about uh, pay-per-click advertising, Google AdWords, all that stuff. So as you wrote down right in front of me here, you said you can't rank in Google for all search terms. You simply can't do it. You can't do it. Not, not organically. You're okay. certainly not. And if you do rank, you may be on page two and page three. If you're on page two and page three, you might as well be in the rainforest. Right. <laughs> nobody's going to find you because nobody has that kind of time. Nobody's going to go through all of the search results. I've never done and it. You're going to deal with yep. the top three or top five or whatever. And that statistically, we know this to be true. Yep. So number one, you can't rank for all search terms. So just buy them. They're not expensive and depending on the markets. Like we have financial customers. It's a very competitive space like debt consolidation and that okay. kind of stuff. That's like 10 bucks a click, but it still works. And so if the, if it takes five clicks to create a lead, it's $50 to create a lead. Right. Most companies are okay with that. I've, I've got companies that are okay with $200 a lead. So that's it, it's important to play that game. Uh, number two is why use AdWords? Because... It's it. Somebody who clicks an ad is not a novice. Everybody uses Google. I mean, raise your hand in the audience out there totally. if you haven't been on Google in the last 24 hours. Exactly. It's just like most people have it as the default in their yep. browser. I agree. And they, if they don't know something, they just Google it. Um, somebody who clicks an ad knows it's an ad. So you're not fooling anyone. They're not going to think, oh, organic search results. No, it says ad. And so if they click it, what does that say about them? So we call that in our business, high level customer buying readiness. Break that down. Meaning they know it's an ad. They know you're going to try and sell them something and they click it anyway. So they're ready to be sold to. So all you have to do is close at that point. All you, just, all you got to do is close. Wow. Because they're looking for something specific. They clicked your ad because it most accurately represents what they were looking for. And they're okay with you pushing a little bit. Yeah. They're okay with you. Okay. So you're coming to this page. All I got to do at that point is three things. One, the reason why you need this service. Mm -hmm. Number two, the reason why we're the best ones to give it to you. And number three, the reason why you should do something about that right now. Right. That's all we got to do. And so that's where hypnotic copywriting comes in, the layout of the landing page and all that kind of stuff. So very important. 416-444-PROS is the number to get a hold of Paul. Continue. How about a steady stream of leads? Well, that's 
that kind of goes in line with you can't rank for everything. Okay. But if you if you have it down to a science, which we attempt to do and are very successful at doing with a lot of companies, all it is is a steady stream of traffic. And if it's a steady stream of traffic that you consistently pay for, then you're going to get a steady stream of leads. We know, based on our experience, that it's going to take us about... Uh, we're going to get a conversion rate of somewhere between 10 and 25% on average, sometimes higher, sometimes a little bit lower, but it averages out sort of 10 to 25% or say 17.5% conversion rate. Should I be happy with that? As You a, should be happy yeah, with that, okay. right? So that, that means it's going to take you approximately five to six clicks to create a lead. And if it costs us $2 per click, that means it costs you between $10 and $12 to right. create a lead. If it costs us $5 a click, then it's going to cost you $25 to $30 per lead. But based on the price of your service or your product, right. that's just factored into your overall advertising cost. It's not a, uh, an expense. It's an investment. Right. It's an investment in a steady stream of leads. So for example, consistently, we have companies right now in our portfolio that are getting between 100 and 300 leads a month, consistently. And they're paying somewhere around 2,000 bucks a month. So what? It's nothing. Think about that for a second. 1,000, uh, 1,500, 2,000, $2,500 a month and they're getting 100 to 300 leads, depending on the business, depending on the competition. These are local companies. This is not national advertising. These are local companies. So if you're talking 10 to 25% conversion, I mean, I don't know if you have the statistics, but if I were just to go in naked on my own, say, I don't need that. I'll just wait for clicks on my own Google search. What, what would be the turnover rate for someone like that? 1%? The majority of the Google AdWords business, because we're a Google partner, I'll right. talk about what that means after the break, but as a Google partner, we have a duty and a responsibility to serve our clients with what they really want. What do they really want? Do they want traffic? No. They want new business. Yes. And new business, if you reverse engineer new business, you have to start with traffic, then you have to get that traffic converted into a someone you can talk to. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Our responsibility is to get them what they want. When they come to us, the majority of AdWords, current AdWords clients that come to us, they're not getting what they want. They're paying all this money. They don't get good reporting. They don't get, they don't know how many leads they get. They don't know what their leads cost. That's our responsibility. So if they've done it themselves or they hired another company, what we want to do is we want to take a look at it. Let us give us, just give us the opportunity to look at what you're paying. We'll tell you, can we do better? We'll tell you that. We know based on experience, based on where you're sending that traffic, based on your current conversion rates, based on what they're searching for, there's a whole sort of formula mm -hmm. that we look at and experience comes first, right? We're looking at it and, and, and we're saying, just let us look at your account. If you're running it yourself, trying to save money, because yes. you know we're really cheap, like it's not cheap, we're inexpensive. inexpensive. It's like 500 bucks a month to manage your AdWords account. But if you're spending $2,500 a month and you're getting nothing in return, right. it's worth the $500 okay. to have us do it. So most people, basically, until they come to you and, and wise up and do this, they're simply fishing. Well, They're casting a line and hoping. It's hit and hope, really, right? I mean, some people have some experience, right. but we've never taken on an ad. We've actually never turned anyone away. People who come to us and say, hey, look at my account. Mm -hmm. In all cases, we've been able to optimize it better. In, every, in a, every single case, because a lot of people fire traffic to a homepage. We think that's like one of the worst things you could possibly do. Just send it to your website. I want to talk about that after the break, yeah. because most people would probably want to do that. 416-444-PROS is the number uh, to email Paul Simple as well, paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. That is the email you use to take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet. Get it? It's actually, it's a, it's a hard thing. It's laminated. This won't be emailed to you. It will be sent to you. So you need a mailing address when you send that email to Paul. We'll continue. Lots more to go. Stay tuned. The Business Pros Radio Show, Global News Radio, 640 Toronto.
number is 416-444-PROS. It is email paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. Use that email now. Send them an email. Get the digital marketing cheat sheet, full color, laminated, great reference guide. You can have it on your desk for all time, and it's, it's laminated, so it'll last, uh, well, it'll outlast you, to be quite blunt about it. This thing is amazing, and you've got to get one when you can. Just before we broke, we're talking about people paying for ad leads. They want them jettisoned right to their homepage. Seems natch, but you're saying that's foolish. Well, if if your company only does one thing right. and the homepage covers that well, then that's okay. But most companies don't do just one thing. For example, as a training company, we have multiple training types of services. We have, uh, as a digital marketing agency, we have a traffic division, we have a web build division, we have a design division, we have a CRM division. Does that make sense? So mm -hmm. we do many, many things. Sure. If you buy traffic to your homepage, you're relying on the search person, the person who's doing the reading, to find their way around themselves. You're just dropping them at the front door. You're dropping saying, them at the yeah. front door Say, hey, hey, find your way around. <laughs> now, if you've got a great journey, which we try to do, right. choose your journey, and we're trying to get people to flow properly, then that's great for organic traffic. So you're going to get a lot of organic traffic to your homepage, build a good journey, get them to where they need to be quickly. Mm -hmm. A couple of clicks away is, is probably the best. No more than two clicks to where they need to be. Okay. But that's that's not a good plan when you're buying traffic. If if they're searching for public speaking training, yes. send them to the public speaking training webpage. Don't send them to your homepage and have them find a way around. You're just wasting their time. So it's always a good idea to direct the search term to the page that matters the most. Amazing. The page that it has the so, best description. It seems so obvious. Right. But you, right? you would be surprised at how many companies we get when, when we start managing their AdWords that we're sending all of their traffic to their homepage. And then people are up to their own device to find out where to go. Even if, and this is one specific example, we have a client that runs a, a high-end car wash for high-end cars. Okay. It's like a, it's not a car wash, it's a detail, detail shop. detailing yeah. shop. Nice. And they were they were uh, looking for more business. It took us about a month or so to sort of figure out that market, but we eventually figured That's it pretty out. Pretty quick. And but we don't even we. I mean, they do one thing, and they have different types of services, but they do one thing. Sure. We still don't send the traffic to the homepage. We send it to a specific landing page where they can get the deal of the day, where they can sign up for something, where it's very. Right. It walks them through. Here's what you need to know: the reason why you need it, the reason why we're the best ones to give it to you, and the reason why you should do something about it right now. We're sending them to that page. If we send them to the whole page, you're taking a chance. It, it doesn't work very. That's well. a good way to put it. You're taking a chance. Taking and a chance. after you did this for a month and rebuilt things through your service. How's the uh, how's the the feedback? He's there? happy. Yeah. Well, the individual who I'm I'm speaking of, no. I may never be happy, but he's happy with us. Right. <laughs> Does right. that make sense? Well, we got some free ones. We're still we're still buying ads. Yep. So yep. if we're still buying ads, it's working. Gotcha. By the way, this is an interesting point. We have clients that we buy traffic for. We set the whole thing up, and we know that it works. But the client says it's not working. What are they basing Happens that all the time. They're on. basing that on the fact that they're not making sales. So what we do to get around that is we install what's called call rail. And what we realized is that the majority of our clients who are converting leads and call rail is involved, we can actually listen to the conversations from incoming calls. And so we just say to the client, well, the reason why you're not closing is because you're not a salesperson. That's beyond what you, the service <laughs> that you've done. That's beyond what we do. We, wow. can, we can get them the leads. We can get the phone to ring. And some companies, actually, the phone rings off the hook. We have one guy in London who put the competition out of business, like literally no kidding. put them out of business because we stole all the business from AdWords, organic search. I mean, we just do amazing work for this. And he's been a, a client for like eight years. Wow. And he, every year he writes us a testimonial saying, these guys are the best guys on the, on the face of the planet. I'm not saying that to impress you. I'm saying that to impress upon you that we keep clients because it works. So, uh, but when his phone rings and we have a recording of that conversation, we know he can close the deal. But we send traffic to other clients and they tell us your traffic's no good. No, your sales team isn't any good. Right. And it's based on these criteria, right? We've actually sent traffic to people where they don't even speak good English. And so we're listening to the conversation going, you didn't even understand the, the, the <laughs> Here's customer. Here's where you're dropping the ball, You didn't even chief. understand the customer's question, let alone being able to service them properly. Yeah. So what we do with that case is we actually, we get a third-party sales company to step in, a, you know, a call company, cool. that kind yeah. of stuff.
That makes sense? Yep, absolutely. 416-444-PROS is the number to get a hold of Paul. Paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. Important things to be aware of when buying traffic from AdWords? Uh, there's a list. Uh, okay. So we're going to go through the you list bet. after the break. Okay. There are many, many important things to uh, pay attention to. I want to simplify it. Okay. So if you're running your own AdWords or you're hiring another company and they're feeding you a report, this is what you should be looking at. Stay tuned. That's coming up. Also, take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet. It is full color. It's laminated. Seven-step client value optimizer system. There's a glossary in there. I'm actually holding it right now. You want to get a hold of it, there's one way. That is email paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. And otherwise, you can call them anytime, 416-444-PROS. This is the Business Pros Radio Show. It's right here, Global News Radio, 640 Back with more Business Pros Radio Show. The phone number anytime, 416-444-PROS. To get a hold of Paul, email as well, paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. That is also the email you need to use to take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet. It is actual physical thing you can get. It's full color. It's laminated, so it'll sit on your desk and be very important to you. So you cannot get it through email. You have to do a uh, proper email and uh, um, an address to get that from Paul. So important things to be aware of when buying traffic from Google AdWords. You had a list. Let's uh, let's machete our way through those, shall we? Well, AdWords, yes, you're spending money. It is an investment. But what should you be looking at to tell if it's working? That's That's the only thing that matters. And all you have to do as a company owner, if you're currently buying a few thousand dollars worth of traffic a month, all you have to do is look at your current results and ask yourself one question. Am I happy with my results? Right. It's the only question you should be asking, really. And in most cases, most most people are not. You may think you're okay, but if you want more business and you're after more business and you can handle more business, then it's important to get a second opinion. What I'm offering uh, listeners is, and I've, I've actually never done this before, I'm going to offer them the opportunity for us. We'll always look at it. No charge. Just we'll give you a second yeah. opinion. Yep. But in this particular case, if you're happy with your landing pages and you sell something online and you're happy with all of that, but you're not happy with the traffic that you're buying, we'll waive our setup fee. Okay. Oh, cool. If you, we need to build a landing page, we'll uh, cut our, our setup fee from, from $2,500 to $1,250. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we're going to cut our setup fee with landing page build in half. Huge. We've never done that before. Wow. We'll do that for the right. audience today. So Paul at trainingbusinesspros.com, if you want to get started, we'll, we'll do that. When we do it, we're going to feed you reports, weekly, monthly, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You can call us anytime, say, hey, Paul, I'm not happy with the traffic I'm getting. Prove to me that it's working, right? And what I need to show the client is this. It, it comes down to essentially three things. The, the most important one, and let's start with, with number one, okay. is what is it costing me for uh, either a sale or a lead? Does that make sense? Yep. So cost per lead or cost per sale. Yes. If we're driving traffic to an online store and you want people to buy something and check out, that's cost per sale. Gotcha. If we're driving traffic to a landing page where we're collecting customer data and we're asking them a couple of questions and we now can follow up with salespeople, that's, that's called cost per lead. Right. If you don't know your cost per lead, that's a red flag. Okay. Like I can tell you my, as a, as a, as a training company and a digital marketing agency, I can absolutely categorically know off the top of my head what our cost per lead is. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you can't tell me that and you're listening to this call, if you can't say to yourself, honestly, what is my cost per lead right now? If you can't, if you don't know the answer to that question, that's the number one reason to get a hold of me. Because you should know that. Before you move on, how many companies that get a hold of you or you get a hold of them, what would be the over under as far as ones that actually do know cost per lead? None of them know it accurately. Oh, right. Some of them have a ballpark figure, right? Uh, but the majority don't know at all. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't shock me. Don't know it all. Yeah, it, it doesn't shock me as someone who's not in business, but I can imagine being a business owner, I wouldn't know that type of minutia. Right. And, and there's probably somebody listening to this show right now that, that knows. Scrambling going to. Okay. That's excellent. If <laughs> yeah. you're not happy with that, that's another yeah. reason to okay. give me. A, so if, you, if you're saying, well, it's costing me. Like we had a client last year who is now a valued client. They came in last year. Their cost per lead was $20,000. Okay, is that crazy? Because that's, that sounds crazy. It's, a, it's crazy. <laughs> yep. 
It's crazy. $20,000. $20,000. Why? Because they were investing every single penny in trade shows. And trade shows are expensive. Yeah. So you got to ship the team. You got to ship the gear. You got to set up the gear. You got to pay for the booth space. You got to pay for the marketing material. You got to pay for all. And it was costing them $20,000 to create a solid lead. And isn't a, isn't a trade show, to be a little off topic, isn't a trade show, from your experience, hyper-focused traffic? I mean, you've got to get out in your car and go to that trade show. Yeah. So you're interested already. Uh, we do trade shows. It's yeah. great. But our cost per lead from a trade show is astronomical compared to a cost per lead online. No kidding. So you do both. It's yep. not an either or world. So we convince them to do it, and they're very happy with the results. So that's number one, cost okay. per lead. Yes. Number two is how long should it take me to be happy with my cost per lead okay. and the answer is three months so give it some time you got to give it Let three it months if you're if you're in it and you're trying to figure out your cost per lead overnight we can't optimize something that's not in play so it has to be in play. We've learned this from experience. Let it ride for three months. We're not sitting back on our butts doing nothing. We're watching the traffic flow. We're watching the heat maps on the landing page. We're watching the conversion rates. We're watching how many people get to the second thank you page and the third thank you page. We're watching the whole thing and we're optimizing as it's in play. So that's number two. Be patient. That's the that's second most long. important. That's Be ha you know, Number one, know your cost per lead. Number two, Get a, get a level of patience because okay. if you're trying to figure this thing overnight, it's not going to work. Make sense? Well, I haven't so far. So why would they rush it now? Three months is not very long. Move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number three, yep. can you actually handle the business we're sending? Okay. A lot of companies, it's funny, a lot of companies cannot. They get overwhelmed. You, know, you, you take some companies from 20 leads a month to 300, which we've done before, it completely overwhelms them. And the sales team starts making a whole bunch of excuses as to why, you know, the leads aren't any good. <laughs> <laughs> we hear that a lot. That's your, a good. your traffic's no good. And we show them, this is what they searched for. This is the landing page we sent them to. Nobody's going to fill out this form because they don't know what it is. Right. It's, it's extensive, right? Sometimes uh, I like the, the, the simple approach, but at the end of the day, you can't look at that webpage and go, I'm just going to fill out this form for fun. Nope, not going to happen. <laughs> Because they know you're going to you're gonna hound them from a yeah. sales perspective. They right. know that, but yeah. they fill it out anyway. So you can't come to me afterward and go, oh, your leads aren't any good. I'm like, well, maybe your sales team <laughs> it's isn't that great. It's We've actually good. fired sales teams for companies before. Wow. I've kidding. actually got companies to fire their sales teams. <laughs> we got lots more on the way. We're going to talk about what kinds of companies can benefit from AdWords as well. What is a Google partner? If you don't know, we will fill you in after a short break. The number 416-444-PROS to get a hold of Paul. Email as well. Now, the email is to get a hold of Paul and take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet. That is quite simply Paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. It's the Business Pros Radio Show right here. Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. <laughs> Business Bros Radio Show. Get a hold of Paul anytime. Paul at trainingbusinessbros.com. Get that digital marketing cheat sheet. You got to leave a uh, an actual address of where you live so you can get a copy of it. It's physical. It's something you can hold and have in your desk. It's laminated. It will last forever. And it's uh, it's wonderful information for you to have. Phone call as well. 416-444-PROS to get a hold of Paul. Companies, ones that can benefit from AdWords search. Everyone. Okay, done. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't, we actually haven't come across a business where it wasn't relevant. People yeah. search for all kinds of things online. If they're searching for what you do, which they are, mm -hmm. there's an audience for it. Yeah. And you can't rank for everything. So you might as well be buying traffic and making good use of the, the people that are looking for you and can't find you. And that's really what it's about. Can they find you? In the old days, it was in the old days of simple search, it was easy. They opened yellow pages to the letter T and they found tree companies. Yeah, Do you right. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. we don't live in that world anymore. Everybody Googles it. So yeah. if you're not showing up, you're missing out on business. The, the interesting thing about this is, and really all I'm asking for is an opportunity to speak to your company, me and my team, um, and, and give us a shot at proving our case. Sure. I, I find, you know what I find most interesting is, when people get a hold of me by email, they almost have a sense of, well, how do other people do it? So that's the only experience they have. Here's how I do it. I actually set up what's called an online meeting. And before that online meeting, where I can share my screen with the person I'm talking to, right. I'm doing within 
15, 20 minutes before that call, I'm doing enough research to be able to to show them the give them the lay of the land. And they're what it's like you can't watch the screen and go, I don't believe what this guy's telling me because yeah, I'm giving him solid statistics about his current traffic status is and and they don't even know where this information is coming from. But that's what we do for a living, so we know how to create information. But I'm showing them how to do it. That's all. That's all I'm asking for is the opportunity. If you're company XYZ out there and you don't, you can't read your own reports, you uh, are not happy with your sales numbers and you want to grow your company, just give me a shot at one hour to talk you through the system. Uh, recently, I did one of these one hour meetings and this is an interesting uh, situation where they're um, a lodge in Algonquin Park. Well, if you're a lodge in Algonquin Park and you're looking to fill your beds, what we call heads and beds, mm -hmm. Uh, that's not a drive-by business. <laughs> you can't drive by this lodge in oh, Algonquin look. Park. Oh, look, let's go stay no, there. No, it's a it, it has. It's a destination. It has to come through search. Yeah. So if somebody's going on, and I found out there's actually quite a bit of traffic for cottages in Algonquin Park oh, or for sure. rental, yep, whatever, in Algonquin Park, and they weren't getting any of that business, and they were spending all of their money on social media. <laughs> that's not a social media play. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it, social media is great for retaining customers and keeping the conversation going, but it's not great for generating new business. You want to generate new yeah. business, buy traffic for people that are searching for rental cottages out yeah. Does that totally. make sense? Yeah, it's 100%. And so when I showed him this on the one hour, he was like, oh my God, I had no idea that mm -hmm. that's how it worked and this and that, because we're showing them the real world of online marketing. Which is a which is a game that I live and breathe, and my team lives and breathes all the time. This is not something that we just sort of picked up yesterday. We've been in it a long time, and there's a certain amount of experience that you need when you're looking at this stuff to decipher the numbers, and that's what I really love about it. It's not just that I love marketing as as a general statement, which I do, but I love numbers. And digital marketing or online marketing or internet marketing, the numbers are very clear. You can't make them up. And knowing how to decipher the numbers is our inside advantage. That's what we know well. If there's one thing that makes us uncommon against other marketing right. agencies is that we actually care about your cost per lead. We actually care about your ability to convert that lead into a sale. We actually care about the well-being and the welfare of your company. And other companies may say that, but walking the talk... Sometimes, you know, it's funny you mentioned that uh, that lodge in Algonquin Park a moment ago. Now, I, you know, I can't think of another business that would be so on the opposite end of social media and digital media and Google and computers than a lodge in Algonquin Park when people are going to go up and fish and eat bacon and eggs. I assume that he became a client, and how is that working? Uh, we haven't started yet. Okay, we're in the process of closing the the contract, so we'll see. I'm sure he's looking forward to it based on your one hour. Uh, consultation well right? it was more than one hour yeah, yeah the the consult was an hour but then we had to put together scope of project and then we had to have a second meeting so you know i i'm in it for the long haul yep. he could be I, i'm actually you know it's funny i don't look for one-off clients i look for lifetime clients because this is a lifetime play you bet this is not let's throw some money at adwords and see what happens this is like let's get in the game and let's keep at it until we win make it part of your dna right i'm responsible for the well-being and the welfare and the income of your company i'm responsible What's a Google partner? Uh, that's very, uh, you pass a couple of exams, <laughs> but uh, here's the main thing. You have to spend X amount of dollars a month for at least 12 months. And then I think the number is 10,000. So you have to spend at least $10,000 a month on AdWords. We spend quite a bit more than that. And that's where Google says, okay, you have enough experience to help people. Does that and make that's, sense? And that's, you got to get to that level. You got to get to that level. Okay. Well, I mean, y you know, typically Google partners are only advertising agencies that are spending other people's money. Right. We have some clients that spend $15,000 a month alone on AdWords. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. But if it's, if it's turning out business, that's why, right? They've been doing it for months. Exactly. Actually, years. <laughs> that, that, the client that I'm thinking of has been at it for more than a couple of years now. It's obviously working for them. Well, they... Who would spend $15,000 right. a month if it's not working? Yeah.
<laughs> you want to take advantage, it starts with a phone call and an email to get a hold of Paul, 416-444-PROS. Email is paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. That is also the email you use and leave your address to take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet as well. All the details when you email Paul. We got a short break and a few more moments to go and a more show to go. The Business Pros Radio Show, Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. The phone number anytime. Get a hold of Paul and his crew, 416-444-PROS and paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. That email you send with an address, your address, home address. Take advantage of the digital marketing cheat sheet, full color. It's laminated, great reference guide, and you can have one very shortly by uh, emailing Paul. Uh, while we sit here and idly chat, you can do that and, and take advantage. Remarketing is where we're going for this segment as we uh, get our last few minutes for uh, for this week, sir. What is Remarketing. Remarketing is my favorite advertising play. Okay. Remarketing, and it's been around long enough that most people probably know what it is. It's also known as retargeting. Okay. Essentially, the way it works is you do a search online and you click an ad or you click an organic search result. Okay. You come to that web page and you don't take any action. So I buy I'm buying track, let's say the Algonquin Lodge that we talked about. Yeah. So I do a search for cottage rental Algonquin. I know there's probably more than one. So I click the ad, I come to their website and I don't uh, reserve a room. Okay. And the reason why I don't reserve a room is because people don't typically buy when you're ready to sell. They buy when they're ready. So okay. if it's their first search, they're going to say, okay, I'll stick that in my back pocket and I'll forget about for now and I'll go search for something else. Because yep. maybe I didn't like the price. Maybe I didn't sure. like what it looked like. Maybe I didn't like the amenities. Maybe I was looking for a five-star Algonquin cottage, right. which doesn't really exist. <laughs> maybe there should be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's an idea for the future. Um, but they, they don't take any action. They don't rent. Okay. What happens in most cases is they just forget about you. Right. They just forget. So remarketing is we know that they visited that web page or that group of web pages or that website. Yep. And what we do is we now start marketing to that person on either the Facebook display network or the Google display network, advertising that pertains to what you were looking for. A reminder that you were looking to rent a cottage. And in you can do that. Yeah. Because I, I've, it's it's funny you mentioned that. I always wondered how this worked when I, for instance, I would, I would be searching Paul Evans shoes in New York. Great, great shoe. I love their shoes. And then after I searched and I looked and I saw, blah, 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 you know, next day I'm doing, look, there's a Paul Evans ad come up on the side of my bar. Mm -hmm. I click on it. That's remarketing. Again. Is it a, is it annoying? Uh, some people think it is, but I find it very effective yeah. because all we're really doing is we're reminding you of something you were supposed to be doing yeah. in the first place, which is finding a rental cottage in Algonquin. Right. I, I, it happened to me yesterday, actually. I was looking for a baby gate. I'm trying to keep my dog Baby gets out, perfect. Of, out of a yeah. out of a space that he's like doing his because he's old now and mm -hmm. he's like you know doodling where he shouldn't be, and I I need a baby gate to yeah. keep him out of there right because I'm not going to build a door no, just no, for no. that because he probably won't last a year. Yeah. He's, he's, oh nice. <laughs> well, he's 13 years old. Jo poor George. He's he's such a mess. Anyway, so I go to Amazon and I I'm looking for baby gates. Yep. Uh, it showed up in my I don't know I don't know where I was but it showed up in. Twitter, I think. It was like an ad for baby gates from Amazon. That's remarketing. It's just reminding me that I need a baby gate. And so I, I find it good. The other thing is too, is it's reminding them that they were on your website. So this is something you're already doing. You already recognize right. us and it's costing us less to bring you back than it is to go find somebody right. new. Like, hey, I'm still here. Come back and see So me. remarketing is, if you're not doing it, it's the it, you should be doing that first and foremost, even before going after search traffic, even before going after new display traffic, just do this one thing. Just set it up on your website. It's not that hard to do. It builds up a little audience and just start remarketing. It might be a dollar a click or a dollar fifty a click. So it's totally, totally worth it. Cost the it. same as other advertising? Because it, it doesn't, uh, well, no, it's cheaper actually. Okay. Well, it depends. Right. It depends. In most cases, we find it, even though it might be the same click amount, it's higher value because they've already been there. Right. So you're just reminding them to circle back on something that they've already interested in. So that's important. Is there strategies I, I or we may not be aware of when it comes to remarketing? Yeah, about 3,000. Okay, perfect. <laughs> 
that's for another show. Ten more shows. The, the strategy uh, for remarketing is essentially, yes, let's remind you of something you were looking for, but if you click that ad, don't send them back to where they were before. So if I was already on the homepage or wherever, don't send me back to don't the send, same thing. send you back to something that better describes it or differently describes it because they didn't take action the first time. Okay, absolutely. So if you, if you keep sending them back to the same place, they're like, okay, I've already been here. Yeah, I get it. That didn't work the first time. Why is it going to work now? Right. So typically what we like to do is send them back to an, an alternate Okay. Landing page. Okay. What else? So one that's a little more specific, mm-hmm. one with a maybe a better deal. Sure. <laughs> okay. We know you were here already. You didn't like that deal. Here's one where you can use this coupon code. So a little enticement. What else? Remarketing on websites that talk about the same things you do. Okay. So you can actually, there's websites out there that have set up AdSense accounts and they do marketing for Google. So there's like banner ads. It's a good idea to advertise on websites that uh, have your target audience. Perfect example. We do advertising for a debt consolidation company. Okay. Uh, Turns out that sports fans have huge amounts of debt. (laughs) Really? That's an amazing piece of trivia. (laughs) Yep, they do because they overspent. Do you have any idea what a night uh, out at Air Canada Center is to see the Maple Leafs is? And never mind the Leafs. Yesterday inside the studio here, there was a ticket stub for for that first game of the Raptors and Cleveland. It was in the hundreds. It was 338 bucks for a single ticket. Yeah, I held a ticket in my hand a few months ago for a premium, uh, a platinum ticket for the Leafs game. is $475. Like, come on. Times two, because I had to take my wife. Plus a few wobbly pops. Plus going to the premium lounge, which was $300. We we figured out at the end of the day it was $1,450 for one night. And but but they're fans. I'm yeah. not a fan. I right. just go because you know I had I got the tickets for free. Right. <laughs> but anyway, um, my point is is that they overspent. Okay. So what we did was we started remarketing on NHL.com. That's brilliant. <laughs> and it works really really well. <laughs> really? Yeah, because people click the Are you in debt? You know, are you overpaying for hockey tickets? <laughs> and you've already got them. <laughs> You've already gone with yeah, And it's only com. remarketing. They've already been to our website because they were looking for some help with debt, neglected to take an action. Now we market to them on NHL. And it's like, oh, yeah, you're reminding me that like, I've got that little debt problem and I shouldn't be buying more hockey tickets. Right. <laughs> so it's that's that's the important part about remarketing is okay. it's not just you're not just remarketing on Facebook. You're remarketing on websites that they're actually interested in. You know, so target audience, target audience, target audience. There's so much to talk about in the coming weeks as far as this is concerned. In the meantime, you'll want to get a hold of Paul, get some valuable information to get to, to get started. The phone number first, 416-444-PROS. That is 7767 and Paul at trainingbusinesspros.com. Yeah, and that's important. Paul okay. at trainingbusinesspros.com. Right, the email. That's how you start a conversation with right. me. Do that and I'm in- not going to push you up. To, I have lots of people in my office. The conversation starts with me. You want to talk to me? You send me an email to paul at trainingbusinesspros.com and I'm more than happy to start that conversation. That email as well will get you a copy of the digital marketing cheat sheet. But for that, with your email, accompany that with your address, your home address, and we'll send that to you. 